Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today is going to be a very exciting vlog because we are apartment hunting in Los Angeles. just got back in the car from touring the first apartment and honestly that was the apartment for us I think it's actually a condo I think it's the one I saw this on Zillow and I fell in love with it so this condo was the first place to tour on our list I really wanted to just like see it in person before anyone else got the chance to there are a few things that I'm just like not sure about right so the things that we didn't like about this place is first of all there wasn't a microwave, which is really weird. I mean, I guess we could always get a microwave, but... Take up more counter space. Yeah. Also, in my opinion, the windows were a little small mm -hmm. for my liking. Mm -hmm. um, they weren't like super tiny that you can't see anything out of, and the balcony was huge. Yeah. But for some reason, the windows were like tall but skinny, and yeah. it didn't look like it was going to let a whole lot of natural light in. It looked a little dirty, but like I asked the owner if they were gonna like do a really good deep clean before we move in, and he said like, yeah, of course. But it wasn't a horrible unit or anything. I know we started off with what we just liked, but there were way more things that we did like. Like it had a lot of space, a lot of cabinets, a lot of drawers, plenty of space to put, you know, our belongings. The closets were big. I love the area. It's very walkable. Like we're right next door to a grocery store. So like that's good to know and then I mean everyone around here is just walking around which is really nice to know and like walking their dogs and stuff like that and I see a lot of girls by themselves which is you know a concern for me like I always look out for that as a girly. The bathrooms I'm obsessed. I mean I could truly see myself doing so many like Vogue Beauty Secret style videos in the not only the master bathroom, but the guest bathroom too. I love the architecture. Architecture. Of the whole building. Was, it was great. Also, I want to put this out there that our style is definitely more on like the modern side rather than the older type of style when it comes to where we want to live. We're not really looking for somewhere that's that has like that older feel. So we're going to keep on going and see what we find. <laughs> So we just got back in the car from looking at the second apartment. 
I still like the first apartment the most, but it sounds like Aussie actually likes the second one a little bit more. What are your thoughts? I do. I like the way it looks more and it has more to offer than the first. If I had to describe it in one word, I'd just use massive. Like there is just, it's so much space that it's almost too big. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, you know, yeah. it's a two bedroom, but it's just insanely large it's like a house <laughs> yeah it's it's really big the ceilings are super high it's two stories we're looking for a place with a ton of space but it's just too much and we were talking about like it's so big that like our furniture that we currently have is too small and like it won't fill in all of the empty space if we were to go with this apartment also i feel like the interior design is very like glam core there's like a lot of rhinestones and like chandeliers and like all of that's really pretty but i live with a guy and i feel like i don't know it's just a little bit more of like the girlier side yeah i mean it's great that there's a ton of space but it's a little too much for us another thing about it is the outside looks very sketch <laughs> it's it's an extremely nice place it's like night and day from yeah. what it looks like on the outside to what it actually is on the inside yeah, also like it was under construction is what the lady kept telling us and like the lobby There were like construction guys all around and we were like walking on paper and stuff I would rather just see like a finished apartment and not have to like use my imagination because That's what we ended up doing for our very first apartment is we they told us to like use our imagination and we walked in on our move-in day and Our unit was nothing like how we thought it was gonna be so I feel like ever since then I'm like Anyone that tries to tell us, like, I don't know what it looks like, but it's going to look nice. I, I just, I won't take their word for it. I don't trust them. We also forgot to mention that the first apartment, there was a little bit of an issue. So, I still love it the most. Aussie is kind of, like, teetering back and forth between the first and the second. But the issue with the first apartment is that we won't be ready to move in until, like, next February slash March is when we would rather move in sometime next year early next year and the owner of that apartment said that he's only willing to go until december 1st to start the lease which is just that's way too hectic we have my birthday thanksgiving christmas all of that so i don't think we're gonna get that specific unit but i am so in love with apartment number one that i'm trying to get a hold of the like the building management to try to figure out if they know of any like current tenants that either won't be renewing their lease or like any owners that are about to put their unit up to lease out sometime next year all right now we're on our way to our third apartment tour of the day we will see y'all in there Okay, so we just finished touring apartment number three and I would say that's number two on my list. Number one is still the first apartment that we toured this morning. I just, I'm so hung up on it. I can't stop thinking about her. She's my dream. We really liked this uh, third apartment. You want to give your thoughts? It had a microwave, so that is a good thing. That is a plus. It also had a really cool like coffee machine. I'm not really sure that we will use it because we're not really coffee drinkers, but it was really cool to see. I feel like we also have been saying like if we could just take our apartment that's in Dallas right now and move it to LA, that would be perfect. And I feel like this apartment 
that we just saw is the closest to our Dallas apartment and it's very 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 within our budget. It's super spacious as well but the only thing that I'm not like crazy about are the bathrooms. The guest bathroom and the master bathroom. I just feel like it's very plain and again apartment number one just had such a glamorous and just like such an extra bathroom that nothing will compare I don't think. And I do a lot of beauty content and so like a bathroom that's that basic I feel like is just kind of not worth it. We love apartment number one. She's a queen. So the apartment was was really big. It was actually more than just a two bed two bath with the guest bathroom. It actually had a half bath as well so it was two bed two and a half bath mm -hmm. which an extra bathroom is always nice I guess but the problem that I had with it, as opposed to the other units, was this one didn't have a center island. It's just going to be a little more difficult to maneuver around the kitchen when you want to cook something without the center island. Obviously, it's not a deal breaker or anything. In comparison to our home in Dallas, there isn't any dog parks or dog stations or anything. It's not very pet friendly. In the units themselves, there aren't a whole lot of options for your pets. There's a dog park back at our place in Dallas and Luna loves going out there and running. It's like a huge field. And they said that they didn't really have something like that around here. And it's just kind of like you take your dog out on the leash, obviously like walking down the sidewalk and stuff like that, which is, not, that's fine because the area was really cute too and like quiet. But that was, that was one of those things where I was like, uh, that's okay. But that's the same across all of these mm -hmm. apartments that we've to toured, not just number three. I told Sloan, I'm calling that apartment the safety net. I'm still team apartment number one. It sounds like you're team apartment number three. But we are touring apartment number four soon. We're going to head over there right now. Okay, so it is now later on in the evening and we totally forgot to give our thoughts on apartment number four. Take it away, Aussie. Apartment number four was beautiful. It was another one that was extremely big, just really large, but yeah, it didn't have like all the crystals and stuff everywhere. So it was actually like really nice. No glam core vibes. Yeah, yeah. I would have loved it, but they basically told us when we got there that they had already like agreed to terms with another tenant. The night before. The night before. But they yeah. said they would, you know, tour us and see if we might be a better fit for the place. But, I mean... We're not we're interested not, in moving in. We can't move in, like, tomorrow. And yeah. it sounds like they have somebody else that's already gonna... Ready to go. Move into that place, so... Mm -hmm. No, it also had three floors, actually. It had three floors. We entered on the second floor. We had to go downstairs. And then there was an upstairs, so... Downstairs was the bedrooms. The middle floor was the living kitchen, room, kitchen living. area. So you would at least have to go up and downstairs for that and then time. the third level was like the roof um like a bonfire it was nice they had like a like a little fire campfire pit. fire pit yeah thing not a bonfire a fire a campfire <laughs> not a campfire or a bonfire a fire pit yeah it just like wasn't a good fit for us but we have two more tours to go on tomorrow so yeah we'll see you guys in the morning bye Hi guys, so it is now the next day. I think the last time that we spoke, we were just wrapping up from yesterday. We toured four apartments and I kept telling you guys that we have a couple of more to tour this morning. 
Well, things have changed. Aussie has an acting job that he has to go to. The time changed for that. We're just like not able to tour the last two apartments, which the very last one that we had scheduled for today was actually the second apartment that I was super excited about. So I was really excited about apartment number one that we saw yesterday. And then I was super excited about this very last one that we were gonna do, which would have been apartment number six. Things didn't work out with our schedule. We're leaving to go back home to Dallas tomorrow morning. And so, you know, we just ended up being like, okay, never mind. We just like won't tour this time, but we might the next time we come to LA. We're just kind of seeing what we like in general right now. It's Getting nothing it like major that we're like immediately about to jump on right now. Mm -hmm. It's just, we're just getting a vibe yeah. of LA and what it has to offer, seeing yeah. what we like right now, so. Yeah, I think we got a pretty good vibe this time of what we're gonna want. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications. You guys already know what to do and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.